Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I own Gold Pony. I do new car, truck, SUV reviews on YouTube. And today, we are in the brand new 2023 Infiniti QX55, courtesy of Faulkner Infiniti in Mechanicsburg, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so, I wanted to check this one out because I personally think the design is incredible, specifically the sport back design in the back. I absolutely love this look. It really distinguishes itself from all the other SUVs out there on the road right now not only that with affinity you actually do get three years of complimentary maintenance as well so that's going to save you some money there too and there are plenty of new updates for the 2023 model year and so ultimately in this video we will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering fuel ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always Let's start with pricing. And so there will be a few different trim levels for the 2023 QX55. Lux starting at $49,150. Essential for $54,250. And lastly, Sensory for $57,800. And by the way, in case you were curious, we do have the Essential trim level with us here today. But regardless of trim level that you go with, the power plant on this thing is going to be the same. Powering the Beast is a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder, putting out 268 horsepower at 50 5600 rpm 280 pound feet of torque coming in at 1600 rpm power sent to all four wheels all wheel drive does come standard so that's pretty cool through a cbt with paddle shifters which we will test out here in a little bit zero to 60 time approximately 6.9 seconds with mpg numbers coming in at 22 in the city 28 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel and so before we do any kind of fun acceleration or paddle shifter test here in our qx i wanted to mention to you guys the drive modes there's actually a little toggle switch directly behind the shifter labeled D mode obviously for drive modes it's going to adjust between eco standard sport and personal adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response and the steering sensitivity so now I've got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find it straight away let's put the paddle shifters here to the test first and let's see how quickly they are going to react for us here all right so before we do this paddle shifter test here I didn't want to mention to you guys I just threw the shifter back one more time and I uh, can put you in full manual shift mode which is what we are in right now so I am down shifting i found her straight away and first gear here we go in three two one off again i like the sound quick all right so the paddle shifters are actually very quick and actually it kind of simulated an automatic pretty darn well as well i really like that because after all this is a cvt so technically we're not shifting through gears but if i'm being honest that felt kind of like an automatic transmission at least shifting through the gears using the paddle shifter so that was kind of fun i kind of like that and you guys probably heard the sound over the camera there it's a pretty cool engine sound when you really get on it too so anyways having got that out of the way and again i'm definitely a fan of that but let's go ahead and get back full control to the qx here let's do a quick little acceleration again in sport mode and let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed all right here's a straightaway three two one from a standstill go Again, that sound is, oh yeah. This thing is quick, man. <laughs> this thing is dang quick. Um, yeah, plenty of an acceleration to merge you onto the highway. That was quite fun, man. Yeah, that'll definitely get the job done. But anyways, too old on with that acceleration. As always, braking is equally important. So up front, you will find 13 inch ventilated front discs in the back, 12.1 inch solid rear discs. As far as that 60 zero stopping distance goes, it's going to come in at a very impressive 122 feet. That's pretty much right on par for the course. Um, I've seen it in the one teens for like Mercedes Benz and things like that, but I've also seen it in the 130s. So 122 feet is perfectly fine. As far as braking feel goes, it feels perfectly fine. Definitely not a soft braking feel, but not really a firm braking feel either. So pretty much right on point for what this vehicle should be. So touching on suspension and handling up front, you're going to get a McPherson strut front suspension in the back, independent multi-link rear suspension, front and rear stabilizer bars. As far as ride quality goes, it's been 100% perfectly fine on my short little test drive here today. So definitely absorbing Mechanicsburg's roads very, very well. I've had no issues whatsoever. So big fan of that. As far as steering feel goes, it's on the heavier side of things, which you guys know I really like. So anytime a steering feel is on the heavier side, I personally appreciate it. And let me just put instant note. You can definitely notice the difference. I'll put it that way. When you put it in that sport driving mode as well, it definitely firms up or creates a heavier steering feel there. So 
I'm a big fan of the steering feel. It instantly points you in the direction that you want to go there. And as far as cabin noise goes, it's been perfectly serene. I've had no issues there. The one thing I would say as far as cabin noise goes is when you hit the gas, that engine sound is pumped into the cabin and it sounds wonderful. So that is not a drawback to me. That is a big old bonus in my personal opinion. I love the sound of the engine on this thing. Maybe it's because I just like Infiniti engines because I had an Infiniti G35 coupe back in the day and I loved that car, man. But anyways, I did want to mention in addition to that, there is an acoustic laminated front windshield that does come standard and acoustic laminated front side glass does come standard as well. So a lot of times you'll get the acoustic laminated front windshield, at least on luxury vehicles, not on just regular manufacturers. But now the side glass, that's typically an option for like Mercedes Benz and things like that, but it comes standard here on the QX. So that kind of explains it why this is such a serene cabin with the exception of that amazing engine sound, well, like I said. So anyways, that touching of visibility, that, that's kind of like, uh, it's to be expected because of the shape in the back i guess you guys could probably tell what i'm trying to say here because of the shape it's not as good as like a qx50 i guess you could say but i don't mind it the reason i don't mind it is because i jumped in this one to begin with because of the shape so if you love the design of the qx55 honestly that visibility it, it's not horrible it's not as bad as i thought it was going to be it's not as bad as a 370z or a camaro or something like that so i would imagine you'll get used to it as many people say they get used to visibility of a camaro or something like that but anyways rain sensing windshield wipers actually do come standard on the essential and the sensory trim levels and if you wanted a head-up display that is going to come specifically with the sensory trim level but that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2023 Infiniti QX55. All right, and so here she is, you guys, the new 2023 Infiniti QX55 finished in graphite shadow. By the way, our interior color is also called graphite. So in case you were looking at which particular configuration that we're going with, those are the names of the colors. But anyways, let's go ahead and start up front on this one. Satin aluminum front grille with a very cool design and some chrome surrounds. Kind of like that interior design to the front grille with a massive Infinity logo front and center. That looks pretty cool. Body colored front lip, of course. That definitely looks good because a lot of manufacturers make that a matte black. So big fan of that. You got gloss black air curtain helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination to the bottom quarters there. LED headlights do come standard. They do come with LED daytime running lights, of course, as well, along with the automatic feature and automatic high beams as well. All of that coming standard on all trim levels. So automatic high beams, meaning when you have your high beams on at night, it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction. It's going to automatically dim them back to low beams. Then when that vehicle is gone, it's automatically going to bump it back up to high beams. So very convenient feature there. And down below, I did want to also mention integrated LED fog lights do come standard as well so that is pretty cool to find and uh, as far as the headlights go it is a cube design with an adaptive front lighting system if you were to go with either the essential or the sensory and so what an adaptive front lighting system is essentially is when you're going around a bend at night those headlights are going to swivel based on the direction of your steering angle better help illuminating what is around that bend so it's really a safety feature in itself because it gives you so much better illumination around the corners of maybe some back roads at night so huge fan of that as well but anyways that about rounds out the front end of this one let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the qx all right so but now making our way to the side of this one all the way up top roof rails do come standard for all trim levels across the board do you have some chrome window surrounds coming standard of course as well along with rear privacy glass chrome front fender accents i love that little added touch that they put on the qx 55 definitely looks good up there Gloss black power adjustable side mirrors do come standard. They will also be heated with LED integrated turn signals as well. And if you wanted that reverse tilt down feature, go with either the essential or sensory trim levels, one of those two. And you also do have some chrome accents on the door handles, of course, and then taking a look down at the wheel configuration, 20 inch machine finished aluminum alloys will come standard for all trim levels across the board. So definitely looks very good. And I love the side profile, but like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the back is my very favorite part of this thing. So let's go ahead and make our way to the back. All right, and so we're now starting all the way to the top there. Body colored shark fin antenna, of course, coming standard. Rear spoiler with an integrated brake light as well. You do have the rear window wiper affixated to the rear glass, of course. As far as those taillights go, very nice design to them. And they are LED taillights that do come standard across the board. You got the all wheel drive badging, of course, back there. You got infinity lettering spelled out horizontally. And then just below it all, very nice looking bottom portion of this back end here. You kind 
kind of have an incorporated rear diffuser down there, body colored of course. And then to the sides, dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips. I love that Infinity doesn't hide them and actually leaves the exhaust exposed. That is my favorite look, of course. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. So but now since we are around to the back of the QX55, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is going to be a power tailgate that comes standard for every single trim level. So you gotta love that. If you wanted a hands-free power tailgate, go with the sensory trim level. That is simply how you're gonna go ahead and get that. And so to actually open up that tailgate though, there is a button on the key fob, but perhaps my favorite way to open up that tailgate, there is a hidden button kind of within the peak of the Infinity logo. It is hidden. If you don't own an Infinity, you're not gonna know it's there. So that's kind of the 007 way. That's the way I would do it. But anyways, once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 26.9 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there is a 60-40 split, bumping that up to 54.1 cubic feet if you needed more space then. There's some cargo lighting back there. There are tie-down anchors. There is a 12-volt power outlet as well. There are grocery bag hooks back there. And then if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you will find a decent amount of in-floor storage as well. Actually, more in-floor storage than I'm typically used to finding. So that was pretty cool to see as well. But then making our way up to the rear legroom, that is going to come in at 38.7 inches so for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there of course rear ventilation is going to come standard for those rear passengers there's a rear center armrest with cup holders and actually a cell phone holder just in front of those cup holders as well that was pretty cool to see tri-zone climate control will come standard on the sensory trim level if you wanted the rear passengers to be able to control their own temperatures back there there are two usb charging ports a usb c and a usb a of course front seat back map pockets and those rear seats, by the way, they are reclining rear seats. So you got a little bit of adjustability there. And if you wanted heated rear seats, go with the sensory trim level yet again to spoil the rear passengers a little bit there. But so then make your way up to the front seats. Leather seating is going to come standard. Leather suede combination coming with the sensory trim level. Power adjustable front seats with four-way power lumbar coming standard. Memory settings for up to two different drivers coming with the essential and sensory. Also with those two trim levels, you get heated and ventilated front seats that was pretty cool overall those seats were plenty comfortable between all the power adjustments and the power lumbar adjustments definitely easily able to find my perfect driving position here in the QX55 then take a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is leather wrapped as well and then if you were to go with either the essential or sensory it's also going to be power adjustable and also heated then for these cold Pennsylvania days that we are getting right now because it's 50 something degrees now it's the second day of fall so it's definitely getting cold right now but anyways let's go ahead and make our way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here essentially all of your buttons are located on one side of the key you got your affinity logo all the way to the top the circular button is going to be a remote start but essentially it is all keyless entry with a push button start so all i'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and press that silver engine start button located just to the left of the shifter and so once started up, tachometer is all the way to your left, speedometer is on your right. There is a fairly large digital display front and center to control what is on that digital display. There are steering wheel mounted controls, of course, giving you things like how many miles you have left until you hit empty. There's also your trip A, trip B, of course. Speed limit recognition, so it's display your speed limit up there of any given road. Outside temperature, of course, there's some safety information. It tells you when exactly you need your next oil change. I love that feature as well. Radio information, there's a compass, the list goes on. So pretty much everything you could possibly want on the digital portion of the gauges up there then making our way to overall interior quality there is going to be a power moonroof that will come standard for all trim levels across the board also overhead sunglass holder that is pretty cool and that actually feels really high quality as well more so than i think just about every other sunglass holder i have pressed on the ceiling or on the roof of a vehicle so i like that a lot Auto dimming rear view mirror with home lane control. So up to three different garage doors. It's also going to come standard on all trim levels. Dual zone climate control coming standard as well. And like I mentioned earlier, tri-zone climate control coming with the sensory trim level. And that sensory trim is also actually gonna give you ambient lighting if you wanted to go that route. So that is pretty cool. One thing I did not find, and maybe I'm missing it, put it in the comments if I am, but I do not see a wireless phone charger anywhere or any place where I could put a wireless phone charger. So. 
let me know about that one. But overall, honestly, as far as interior quality goes, definitely very nice. I like the contrast stitching just above the passenger side glove box and the gauges here and the infotainment screen. Like the silver trim accenting found on the doors, it kind of continues just above the dash here as well. Just in front of the shifter, you have a little bit of rubberized storage, 12 volt power outlet, two USB charging ports. You got your cup holders as well. And within the center armrest, a very good bit of storage within there. And there's a USB charging port actually in there as well. And then actually just to the right of the shifter, you have this little knob and buttons to help control what is on that infotainment screen, which is also touch screen as well. So I did want to mention that, but that kind of leads us into the text. So let's go ahead and touch on those dual infotainment screens that we have here. There are two of them. There's the upper one and the lower one. So Bluetooth and audio streaming does come standard. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay as well, but the Apple CarPlay is wireless. So not the Android Auto is wireless, just the Apple CarPlay. So my Android phone is left out, unfortunately, but still, I, I like that Android Auto. It does come standard on this thing. Climate control settings you can adjust up there. Radio information as well. And so when it comes to the sound systems, you will get six speakers with the Lux. However, if you were to either go with the essential or sensory trims, you're gonna get the really good one, the 16 speaker, Bose sound system with these aluminum speaker covers by Bose. I absolutely love this look, but having said that, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> That's one thing I always say about Nissan and Infiniti. I'm gonna keep saying it. The bass, the way they do bass is so intense. There is so much bass to this sound system. I absolutely love it. And I had the Bose sound system in my G Infiniti G35 Coupe back in the day. It never failed me, never broke. So huge fan of Bose. Bose is a very reputable company. Clarity was good as well, of course. So nothing wrong with that sound system whatsoever. But anyways, last thing I wanna mention to you guys on the infotainment screen at least is when you do put the QX55 in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard. However, if you were to go with either the essential or sensory trims, you will also get a surround view monitor. That's that screen to the right, letting you know what is completely all around you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. So front side side curtain airbags, of course, do come standard, but driver and passenger knee airbags as well. It doesn't always come standard on other manufacturers out there. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors, tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but there is some new standard safety for the 2023 model year. So also coming standard, blind spot monitoring system with rear cross traffic alert, blind spot intervention, forward collision warning, autonomous emergency braking with pedestrian detection, lane departure warning, lane departure prevention, and reverse automatic braking then as well. And then if you were to go with the essential or century, that's gonna add to that, that traffic sign recognition I was mentioning to you guys with the gauges there. So. Overall, when it comes to my final thoughts of the QX55, I jumped to this one originally because the design is flawless. I love the design, the sport back design to this SUV. It looks absolutely amazing in my opinion. Three years of free maintenance, that's pretty darn cool as well. Newly standard safety is great as well. And as far as room for improvement goes, I think the dual entertainment screens are a bit too much. I probably would have made that just one simple screen with a lot less buttons, kind of simplify everything like Volvo does. I don't know, maybe a vertical larger screen like Tesla or Volvo does. Digital gauges would be pretty nice as well. I know the new Nissan Rogue does that since Nissan makes Infinity. I think that would be a very nice carryover to the QX55. And specifically when it comes to interior quality surrounding the shifter, it's just simply a matte black. Wouldn't have minded if uh, they can keep it plastic, but if they just maybe added a nice design to it, like uh, I think most other manufacturers do. A luxury manufacturer, including this cheap black plastic around the shifter is kind of a no-go for me. Just put a design to it, Infinity. That's all I'm saying. But anyway, that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of the QX55 in the comments section below. I always love reading your comments. Feel free to follow me on social media if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do on this channel. After all, do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold. Life could be a dream, sweetheart. Bye.